Hello guys, welcome back again. In this video I will talk about dictionary inside.net framework and .net core. Dictionary represents a collection of keys and values. It can be found under the system.collection.generics namespace and contains in the system.collections.dll, MS Core Lab DLL and net standard .dll assemblies. Dictionary works very similar to the English dictionary whereby the key is the word and the value is the definition so basically you use the word to find the definitions so you basically the key actually takes you to the, the real value so we will have a look at it. it also works very similar to like a primary keys so in this case the, the key has to always be a unique to other keys so what we do is I'm just gonna make a very simple example just to show how we can go about it and its extension methods so before we even go ahead I'm just gonna make this comment here um, just gonna write a dictionary and this is how you represent it so it's inside here we've got T key it's for the type of a key and then the T value is the type of a value so basically if you're reading if you're looking at the screen you have a dictionary this is the key and then the value so we use the key to retrieve the value so we can actually and as you can see I'm actually using a, a Visual Studio 2019 console application under the .NET Core framework so I guess you open the you can also use .NET framework or .NET standard so just open Visual Studio and, and get started with a console application to this level that we can get it going so but before I even continue I'm just gonna put console.readline here so just to prevent from escaping so yeah, so this is uh, this is how you can initialize. This is how we initialize this um, a dictionary. We can use the I dictionary interface. Yeah, I dictionary. So here we're gonna have dictionary. So if, if the scrolling is correct, we can look for the. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is I'm actually installing the the system the collection so for some reason I have to install it it's basically because I'm using the dotnet core so I'm just gonna wait for it to be installed and then I'll get back to it so now I have it installed but basically I wrote an I dictionary first I've changed it to just a simple dictionary so it's that it's not a really a problem so here we add the key the, the data type of the key we're just gonna make it string and then we're gonna have the same string as a value as well so we're just gonna say um, we're just gonna put countries so we can initialize it with, with, by using the new keyword then dictionary something like that so we just put a constructor and then a semicolon so as you can see it's very simple to start uh, to get started with the dictionary so this is how we can add the data to our country so, so first we can say countries so we call that dot add. So here, so it's gonna take in two strings. First is the key. So we're gonna say the first key is um, UK, right? And the second key, which is the real value, we can say um, United Kingdom.
right so this is how we can add stuff and so we can just add a couple just to see how they all works out or checks out so we can say add so the next bit is so we can say us and we can say United Kingdom I mean United States so as you can see this is pretty straightforward stuff so I have one more countries to add So we get uh, and what else we can say IT for Italy. So as you can see here, we have we have got UK, US, and IT. They they represent the key, and as you can see here, they're all different. All the keys are different, so they cannot be the same. They have they they got to be unique. If not, we get to an error. We have a look at that later on. So, this is how we can retrieve. We can retrieve the value of of by using an using the index. So we can say countries, and then we can use the index. So here we can say um, U.S. So we can say. USA is equal to and here yeah, actually that's, that's, there's something I need to do so here I mean we can use the index uh, to select it and then we can change the value like this so we can say United States of America so we can we can change the values by using just the index or we can just get the value Like this, so we can also use get the value like this. So countries. So we can say we can put the UK inside there. So this will actually print out the United Kingdom. So we, we so as you can see here, yeah, we've got hello United Kingdom. So obviously we bited Kingdom. I just made a mistake with that. I apologize. So here, uh, yeah, the mistake is here. So it's just the United Kingdom. So if I actually put the US here, so it's because yeah, we set the value of this key to United States of America. So here, it's not going to print out United States again. It's, it will actually print out the latest value. So once we actually F5. You see that the United States of America will be actually printed out instead of the, you know, as you can see, hello United States of America. So that's the way it is. Yeah. So there's one more thing that we can do. So here we can actually remove a value by just saying countries dot remove. So here, as you can see, we can use the key to remove it. So we can say IT. So now we've actually removed the IT. So we can say, we can use the if statement to check if we're still there. So if countries dot contain key. So we can say um,
So we can actually say we can actually negate it. Yeah. So if if that bit returns true. So we can say um console dot right line. I mean, key value removed successfully. So we're just going to run this bit here. So as you can see, the key value removed successfully. So we were able to remove the key value. So, the, so last but not the least, yeah. We now we've actually removed one value. But what we're gonna do? We're just gonna try and check. So we're just gonna say countries. Are we just use for each? For each. Say key pair string and string. So you just say count country in countries. Then we can print out console the right line. So we can say um, we first put the key here. The key is a. Uh, we use the count as a variable the key and the value is just count the value so we can just f5 to see what actually comes out of it now so as you can see here, we've only got UK and US printed out because we've actually removed one one item or one value from it, which is the IT, the Italian. So as you can see, it's very simple to get going. So um, I'll leave it here, but you can further explore any other extension uh, um, extension method in the in the dictionary. So while with that, we're just gonna make it other videos in terms of systems and collections so if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do and have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace